Hello viewers, I'm Mike Lee. Today we are going to see 11 CBSE Max Introduction to Three Dimensional Geometry. Exercise 12.2 question number 5. Let's see the question. Find the equation of the set of points P. The sum of the distance from A and B is equal to 10. They have given a point P but they have not given the coordinates of P. So we are going to take let P to be X, Y, Z. Yeah, they have given A and B. P is equidistance to A. Uh, sorry, P is uh, P A plus P B is equal to 10. Here they have given the distance of P A. Sum means plus P B is equal to 10. So the given information here is P A plus P B is equal to 10. We know that in the distance formula we have a root. So there are two roots here in addition. That is equal to 10 when we square or to take the root if we square it, it will be our whole square not the separate square. So we can't take PA square plus PB square equal to 10 square not in that way we need to take a whole square. If we take a whole square we need to go with the formula of A plus B the whole square again the root will not go. So for that reason bring PB to this side. Now P A is equal to 10 minus P B. Now substitute the values. We will check how to cancel the root. Now you know the distance formula to be X2 minus X1 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square plus Z2 minus Z1 the whole square. Substitute the values of P and A, P and B and 10. Now for P A it is root of x minus 4 the whole square everything is 0 so we can leave it off plus y minus 0 plus z minus 0 same way here that is equal to 10 minus so 10 minus root of x plus 4 the whole square plus y square plus z square Now squaring both sides we will have root will go off here, here it will become whole square. So this, here, this becomes x square plus 4 square minus 8x plus y square plus z square which is equal to here squaring both sides. Now here it becomes 10 minus root of if we square this it becomes x square plus 16 plus 8x plus y square plus z square the whole square. We need to use formula here a minus b the whole square formula should be used here. It becomes 10 square 100 minus 2ab means 2 into 10 is 20 root of x square plus 16 plus 8x plus y square plus z square. Now 2ab is over now then b square b square is taking the root and square get cancelled it becomes plus x square plus 16 plus 8x plus y square plus z square which is equal to x square plus 16 minus 8x plus y square plus z square here this is an equal to so the like terms can be cancelled here 16 16 get cancelled y square z square get cancelled now leaving this I am bringing this to this side and 8x to this side so taking 20 root of something to on the left hand side it becomes 20 root of x square plus 16 plus 8x plus y square plus z square is equal to here this comes as plus so 8x plus 8x here that is one 8x plus 100 this side it becomes 16 plus 100 16 x plus 100 here 20 root of x square plus 16 plus 8 x plus y square plus z square now taking 4 common outside it becomes 4 x plus 20 root of 
x square plus y square plus z square plus 8x plus 16. Here 4 5s are 20. So now again I am going to square both sides because I want to cancel the root. Again squaring both sides. If I square both sides here it becomes the whole square. So this becomes 25. Here the root will go off. So x square plus y square plus z square plus 8x plus 16 is equal to your squaring means the old square that is 4x plus 25 the old square now multiply 25 inside there for uh, 4x plus 25 the old square we need to write it in the formula now this becomes 25x square plus 25 y square plus 25 z square plus 200 x plus 16 into 25 it becomes 400 now which is equal to here also we need to use the formula so 4 4x the whole square will become 16x square plus 25 square is 625 plus 2ab. 2 into 25 is 50. 50 into 4 is 200x. Now this get cancelled. Bring this to this side. On the left hand side. I will write it here. It is 25x square minus 16x square. I am bringing 16 to the left hand side. Plus 25y square plus 25z square plus 400 minus 625. Which is equal to 0. Now solve it. Solve the like terms. It becomes 9x square plus 25y square plus 25z square here it becomes minus 225 is equal to 0 further we can't solve this uh, this is the required equation for the set of points when the two points are when this the sum of the two points is equal to 10 this is the way we need to do the sum that's all with the sum thank you